What's up guys? I am so excited right now. I've got some news that if I told you now, it's going to be afterwards already. So the one, the only, Anne Marie commented on my one of my things today and she said she is going to uh, post something and give me a shout out. I can't believe it. That's amazing. That's so cool. So to celebrate, let's hit stuff with a hammer because how fun is that? So uh, I've been working with these colors and I think we're going to do black background. We're going to do ancient pottery, the names for these colors. Uh, <laughs> French cream, in case you wanted to know what color French cream is, that's it. And fine wine. All right. So, um, yeah, so what I've been doing lately is I've been uh, covering the canvas and then pouring puddles and then whacking the puddles. I'm having fun with that so far. So let's let's keep on with that that thing. And then, you know, if it gets old or we're, we stop coming up with, with good results, then we'll stop and move to something else. But you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I want to put tacks in the back of this real quick. So I'm just going to walk over here to my painted, uh, painted tax pile. Hey, son. I'm on YouTube right now. Okay. You're trying to figure out how to get in? Minecraft locked. It's locked out? Mm -hmm. I will get that in just about 15 minutes. Okay. Sound no. good? Yeah. All right. I can just watch Harry Potter. Yeah? All right. So is my monkey. He is 11 or 12. He's watching um, 11 or 12. <laughs> He's 11. <laughs> All right, um, so, man, this is a TAC camera I use. TAC, not a TAC, but TAC. And it's got this square head on it, and this was one of the tips of one of the people that commented on my channel. I listen. Um, I'm still learning, and so I'm, I'm never gonna be perfect. And so I love all the like the cool little tips that people give and like the ideas and tips and tricks. I picked up some of my own. I think I'm going to do a tips and trick video soon. But um, for those of you that are type A personalities, I've probably talked too much and you just want to get to the beating of the paint. So let's do that. All right. So we're going to pour on some paint, spread it out a bit. And I'm going to do it with my knife, my, my uh, cake frosting knife. Except it took everything off. Oh, man. All right. It is here somewhere. Uh, ah! It, of course, it would be inches from my feet. But this is what I use. And there's my beard. You can even see it in the knife. Wait, not there. Right there. That's me. You can see it my nose, too. Sorry. Um, yeah. Cake frosting knife. The ones that I've seen that have um, a little bit of a bent handle, I think I'd prefer those because they'd be a little bit more like, but it's nice and flexible, and yeah, it's good. I'm going to spread this out so we can get all up in here. So also, this paint, I made it and let it sit overnight, and I had to remix it after adding tons of water to it. And Yeah, so this is the first time I messed with this, uh, this paint, but I'm super excited because um, I don't think I've done... A hammer one with a negative negative space before so this will be fun okay so now the other thing also um no I don't know what I was about to say so <laughs> all right so let's define I don't want to start with dark colors because then I feel like they're gonna blend back into the jazz hands somehow describes this anyway I think the the darker colors will will uh, kind of slide back into the thing. So I'm gonna make a small puddle in there too. The thing is, is you can be as precise with your pour as you want, but it's never gonna really go where you initially set it. Any, that's art. We're done. <laughs> All right, but seriously. Oh no, it's way better on hardboard. You know what? Mm. Hmm. What shall we do? Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's turn it into a dirty pour. This isn't going to work. I'll get my hardboard out. 
That'll be... Ah, shoot. Let's just try it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, it doesn't splatter, but it does... Every time I pick it up and drop it somewhere else... That almost reminds me of a type of flower. <laughs> Okay, well, this is totally not how I thought it was going to end out. I've never done one of these off of a hardboard, but I'm, <laughs> I'm actually kind of digging what we're coming up with. So there's that. Um, yeah, let's, let's do some ancient pottery in here. Well, I hit the frame, and all of a sudden it does what it does on hardboard. Oh, I'm hitting it with the wrong side. See, now, okay. So there's two sides, and if you hit it on this side, the paint squishes in there, and you get underwhelming uh, results. So if you're like the dramatic, you need the solid side. Wow. Okay. That gives our black some depth. I don't know if you could see that. You know what? This is totally looking like... Not what I expected, but it's cool. I like it in any way. Alright. Okay, so public service announcement. I started using um, paper towels because they are so easy to deal with. So easy to clean up, but I realized how much I'm actually, I'm actually like not recycling because you can't really recycle it. And so these cloths, I went to Home Depot and bought just a bag of rags. I spent like nine bucks and this one here has lost to me like 20 paintings. I mean, it gets a little rough and caked up, but I mean, just think of how much paper you're saving. You'll have saved like four trees by the time you're done with these rags. Anyway, cool. Um, back to painting. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good smack. Pop you, bubbles. Okay, guys, I've got kids. My kids were about the age when Finding Nemo first came. Check that out at the tip of the hammer. I don't know if you could see it. Come on, focus. Focus. It's super cool. All right. Um. Yeah, so every time I see a bubble, I'm like the, the fish that runs after the bubbles. Like, bubbles, 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 bubbles! I want them off my painting. And so, yeah. You know what? This is not the type of... Painting I was expecting to come up with, but I'm really digging some of I'm really digging some of these things. Some of the things that we're coming up with. I might call this one good in a second and just um I'll take some putty around putty. I'll take my cake frosting knife and kind of finish it around the edge, but um I'm gonna take a whack at some more of this color because I really like this purple. It's awesome. And uh yeah, I think it gives great contrast to some of this other stuff. So I'm going to try to get some of that more all over the place. Ooh, that was a good one.
yeah, I could probably use a straw, then you wouldn't have to stare at my head. Um, what are we going to do next? Hmm. Okay, so if I had my way, I would like it if I would like this piece to be here and this to be out just a little bit further. So I guess the only way I know how to do that is tilt, but I don't want to lose some of the definition here in some of these things. Hmm. Uh, don't. Now nah, it looked better before. Let's hit it with the hammer some more. Hmm, much more dramatic when I hit it with it with the hammer and it's already, uh, and I support the back. Hmm. This hammer makes the coolest flowery things here. I'm gonna do a little bit more of this, uh, I guess I'd call that magenta, down the side and smack it some more. And leave it kind of on this edge. Oops. I don't know, frame it over a little bit more and kind of keep it headed towards this this corner here. Okay, so if you have a tack hammer, I feel like I'm saying a tack hammer. If you have a tack hammer, these corners is where it starts shooting stuff out the most. So if you want stuff to go that way towards the corner, then you angle that corner that way. If I hit it this way, the corners are gonna be coming, wait, yeah, they'll be coming out my flat side. So they'll go that way, that way, that way, and this way. Um, okay, check this out. Right over here. I'm going to hit this, and then it's going to... Okay, hold on. I'm going to hit some of these pouring stuff, and we'll see. See, it squishes out more towards the sides. Actually, that, that would have been a cool little liney bit. Liney jigger thing. All right, here we go. So, I'm going to be pointing the flat at this flat edge because it's longer towards that way. Oh, well, that was fun. I splattered everything. Man. I like getting messy. I know some people wear gloves. I even tried to be a glove wearer at first, but oh man. Oh, I bet it'd be kind of cool to put some yellow, uh, some yellow, some ancient pottery on on uh, on that edge right there. So. Uh, not that much ancient pottery. It's too much ancient pottery. Gotta know when enough is enough. So I can maybe like the center part of the flower. I don't know what that's called. But. It almost gives it a little bit more form and definition, and it hides the, the thing, the holes there. So my goal was to make a fast video, but I ended up doing art instead. Sorry, it took longer than I thought it would. Hmm.
Okay, so I do like that, but it stops being quite as abstract. Check this out. That's fun. Look at that line right there. I really like that one. I'm going to torch it. I don't know what's going to happen because I didn't really uh, put that many layers over it. So I don't even have a good reason for wanting to do this. I just want to do it. Okay, about what I expected. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Man, I just want to mess with it, but I actually liked it better before everything else was on it. Okay. So, right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, draw down the edges, make sure all the edges of the paint are covered, but I'm going to... I'm going to... Um, Get you guys down first and show you um, what I'm looking at from a much closer perspective. So, so there we are. Man, I'm trying to get all those light glares out of the picture, but it's not doing it well. Some kind of cool things there. I don't know. You know what? Never done one like that before, but I think that... I think that I'm happy with it. Anyway, it was fun, and it was a learning experience. I hope you guys had fun, too. And, well, there we come into focus now that I stand up and back away a little bit. Hmm... I like those, those flowery things right there. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. We're going to do another one. I'm going to do it on a hardboard, and it's going to be fun. All right. See you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye.